Today I am grooming Meatball and Charlie the Pugs. First we're starting with Meatball. Meatball is Charlie's son, and today they are here for only a bath and brush. Meatball, you good boy. Are you about to have a bath, Meaty Ball? Is it time for a bath, little man? Yeah, you're stinky. You're a stinky dude. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, so I am bathing Meatball today in Fluff Off De-Shedding Shampoo. If you guys are interested in any of the de-shedding products, I know that it's shedding season right now and or coming up soon. They are available on my site, which is linked below for you. Okay, are you ready, Meatball? Uh, you have hair in your eye. Okay. I'm gonna warm up the water for you first. Okay, good boy. Now, Meatball has been coming to me ever since he was a puppy. He's very used to being groomed, although he doesn't love it. He's a really well-behaved dog, even for his nails, believe it or not. He used to come to my shop every single day for daycare, and Gidget, my Pomeranian, was a puppy at the same time as Meatball, so the two of them became really good friends. They love each other. Come here, turn. Meatball's owner just adopted Another pug, which is actually Meatball's dad, he isn't used to grooming, and he, obviously he's a little bit older than Meatball, so his groom is gonna be a bit different because he's very fearful. Okay, so washing his face, obviously being a flat-faced dog, is something he doesn't love. He does need it, though. Um, there is ways to do it so that it's not, you know, so terrible for him. So I'm gonna reduce the water pressure. Come here, buddy. I know, you hate it. Come here, buddy. Because he's used to grooming, he knows to not breathe when I'm washing his face, which makes things a lot easier. For other flat-faced dogs that don't, we usually wash their face with a hypoallergenic wipe. Um, I will just use a towel on Charlie. I'm not gonna wash Charlie's face because he's too scared. Come here. You gotta get those wrinkles clean, they're dirty. This is just tearless shampoo on his face. And I don't use too much shampoo because then it's going to require a lot of rinsing and he doesn't like that. And then, de-shedding conditioner. Because your mom likes you to be very soft. Okay, so I'm going to just towel dry him. And then, at the same time, I'm gonna go in his wrinkles with the damp towel. Make sure they're clean. They are clean. Hey, Charlie, are you done peeing all over the place? Are you done peeing all over my shop? Yeah, that's really rude of you. Good boy, Needy Ball. Okay, so for Meatball, I give him the extra large Happy Hoodie, and that's because he has a pretty big head for a pug. He also has the pushed-in face, which makes it more difficult to breathe. So the larger the Happy Hoodie, the better. If it's too small and too snug, it make it difficult for him to breathe, right? So you get the extra large. Yep. He allows me to use the canine high velocity dryer, which is awesome. And what I do is I just take the nozzle off of it because the nozzle makes more high pressure air, which can be irritating to him. So if I take it off, the air is more dispersed and it's not as strong on his body and he's happier with it. So I'm gonna use this and we're gonna get you all dry, buddy.
Okay, so he is all dry. Okay, wait. He's still a little bit damp on his head, but I still have to groom his father. So by the time I'm done grooming his dad, he'll be dry and there's no point of forcing him through a face dry because he really doesn't like it. His nails were recently clipped. His mother actually works for a vet clinic. So the nails were just done so they don't need to be done. So I'm just gonna give him a brush and then I'm gonna move on to his dad. I'm gonna go with the Zoom groom. I lied when I said you weren't shedding. You are definitely shedding. What a silly thing for me to assume. You're always shedding. You're a pug. Hi, Charlie. Are you next? Oh, you're going to be very upset. His ears are a little bit dirty. So I am going to clean those. So I'm just going to pour it on a makeup pad, the ear cleaner, and then clean out those little ears. Good boy. There we go. Blueberry bubble gum for you. So that's it for Meatball's groom, and now I'm gonna move on to his father, Charlie. It's okay, little buddy. I know that you are very scared. Okay, are you gonna let me put you in the bathtub? Let's see, can we try? Come here. No. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, good boy. It's okay, good boy. Good boy, that's a good boy. That's a very good boy. Good boy, Mr. Charlie. Don't worry, I'm not gonna wash your face. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy, hey, shh. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, good boy. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. You're okay, Meatball 2.0. I think it's hilarious that Meatball's name is Meatball because he is much bigger than his father and he is definitely a little Meatball, right? Good boy, good boy. Good boy, yeah, see? It's nice warm water. So this is much more relaxing to a dog that is not used to being groomed, is not used to a shampoo nozzle this is way better for him. And this is going to help him get used to being bathed without being so scared. This isn't possible for every breed of dog because some dogs just have extremely thick coats, for example, Huskies. So I can't do something like this because the soap and the water would just simply never penetrate the coat and it would just be a waste of time. It can be more difficult. With a dog like this, who, you know, the coat's easy to penetrate with the cup and water, well, we can get him acclimated to grooming when he's older because there are ways that I can go about it to make it less scary. Okay, now we're just gonna come out of the tub because you're all soaked up and we're gonna rinse you, but we're gonna rinse you with the quieter nozzle where the pressure of the water is not so strong. Okay, you wanna come out of the tub? Let's go, this way. Come on, you can come out. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Charlie. Good boy. No, he hates having his wrinkles cleaned, but I know that his owner can do that herself and he probably trusts her a lot more. And honestly, they don't even look dirty. This is also an extra large, it's not too tight on him. 
and we are going to dry with the smaller dryer because I don't think he'll be okay with the canine. If I think he's okay with the smaller dryer, then I will switch over to the canine. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy, Charlie. You're okay. Good boy. I am not going to dry near his face because he really doesn't like anything near his face. So we are not going to bother him with that. It's okay, Charlie, you gotta stay though. You're losing a lot of hair. You are shedding far more than meatball. It's okay, it's okay. Now, when Charlie first came to live with Meatball, Meatball was very unimpressed. That's because he is a spoiled, rotten little dog that wants all of the attention all the time. But I think that he loves him now. So when I put Charlie on the ground, something tells me that Charlie and Meatball are gonna play a little bit. And they are all finished. Okay, Charlie, you wanna go down on the ground? You wanna go down on the ground and play with Meatball? Okay, buddy, you did really good. I forgot to mention that Charlie does not get his nails clipped, even though they need to be clipped, because he requires sedation in order to get it done. So the owner asked me to not even try because he apparently loses his mind, like most pugs, right? Right? Good boy, Charlie, you did well. Good boy, Charlie, man, and Meatball is jealous. And Meatball is very jealous. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy, Charlie. And Meatball is jealous. 